Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Reselling Farming Mom. For those of you that don't know, my name is Ashley. Tonight we're going to go through everything I shipped out this week, as well as everything I have shipping out tonight. I had one really awesome big sale this week, as well as tonight I have some free stuff going out. So, let's get to it. All right. Before we get into what shipped out this week, I want to give everyone a huge thank you for subscribing to my channel. All of you are awesome. We have gained over 100 subscribers in the last week. So not only is that totally boosting our Christmas for Kids fundraiser, but that's just making the channel grow. And as more people subscribe and more people comment and more people like the videos, it gets out to more people. So thank you so much, all of you, each and every one of you. I greatly appreciate it. You have no idea how much you've made my week. So, there's that. So, do you want to hear what I sold this week? All right. First up was Monday started slow for me. I, it was a one and a half cup gravy fat separator. It was plastic. I picked up at a garage sale over the summer for a quarter. I sold that for $6. Then we had two, we had a set of three. There's two sets, but I'll tell you separate. The first was a Taylor Smith and Taylor Taylor Stone Summer Morn Rooster. A set of three soup salad bowls sold for $19.95. I picked these up at the Goodwill. They weren't listed long at all. They've been on less than two weeks. I picked them up for $1.50, 50 cents a piece, and they sold for $19.95. And then we had to the same buyer, the a Taylor Smith and Taylor Taylor Stone Summer Morn Rooster eight and three quarter inch serving bowl. I picked this one up for a dollar at the Goodwill at the same time we picked the other three bowls up and this also sold for $19.95. So I have actually been sitting on these dishes, not these dishes, but sets of these plate are smaller berry bowls because I wasn't sure what they were and I've been as you all know, I've been working to list everything I have lately. I've been working on daily listing as it's been showing. I've been having a lot more daily sales. Um, I Google image searched it and let me tell you that brand in that title is a mouthful. So as I've been listing them, I've actually been going and copying and pasting the whole brand chunk because that's a lot to type out and remember. I just know they're really cool. I love chicken stuff and anything with chickens on them. And these green and white, you can tell they're vintage, but not all of them are marked. So make sure this is a pattern I would watch out for. There's not, there are other ones listed on eBay, but there aren't tons of them. So if you can get them at a good price, they sell pretty high. So next we had a Michael Kors purple plaid, 100% cotton dress shirt, long sleeve men's extra large. So this one I have had for quite a while. It was one of the shirts that actually wasn't numbered. I picked it up back at the Goodwill. I probably paid two or $3 for it. Sold for $12.80. Not a bad profit. Um, I was, this was a year ago maybe, I thought about selling clothes and I wanted to look for clothes. And I just picked up random clothes without looking them up just because I knew they were brands. They were brands that sold. I know how much they cost new, so I thought, of course these are gonna sell. No, it did not sell fast. <laughs> um, I definitely recommend if you're going to sell clothes, there are tons of clothing resellers out there that you could learn so much more from than you will learn from me about selling clothes. I do sell clothes on my eBay store, but only because what we have is from what we had bought out in an estate sale. And I will not donate all of them. I have donated probably half of what we got in the estate sale and the rest I am slowly but surely I am listing them. <laughs> so if you check out my eBay store, Ashley Thrifty Shop, you will see there are quite a few pieces of clothes ranging anywhere in price from $6 all the way up to like, I think $25 or $28 is the highest piece. It boggles my brain what is worth more and what is worth less because because what I think is awesome and what the people think is awesome are two totally different things sometimes. So just keep that in mind. 
The next sale we had was a set of four 1950s Mackinac Bridge Frosted Glass Michigan Souvenir Tumblers. I was so stoked to find these at the Goodwill. I actually found them. They hadn't been set out yet. They were in a bin at the end of the aisle. There was all four of them. They were in excellent condition. I love Mackinac. I love Michigan. I was so pumped. I thought about keeping them, but I really don't need them. I listed them. They've probably been on eBay for one to two months. I need to figure out how to tell how long things have been on there so I can give you guys more accurate days. I know in my brain, it's something that's not been listed for very long, um, but they sold for list price at $30. I was $2 in on these glasses because my local Goodwill glasses are 50 cents a piece unless otherwise marked. So that was an awesome flip. Then we had a set of four Corel Simply Spring six and three quarter inch dessert bread salad plates. So $2 in, it's a set of four Corel plates. They're really small. The dessert salad plates are hit and miss on if they're gonna sell fast or high or slow and low. These were a slow and low. They were actually part of my 20% um, markdown that I have going on right now. They were really pretty and they were in excellent condition. They had purple flowers on them. I was so excited. I could not believe that they didn't sell faster. And I actually know almost by how long it's taken, taken for them to sell because when I look at the picture, I can tell where I listed them at. And over the last year, year and a half, I have transitioned to where I am now of listing. I started out back in a back room in my basement and I worked out into another spot and then I worked out to here. And this is hopefully my final resting area for listing. I love my space, I love my setup. I don't wanna move. I've got my spinny chair, it's all I need. I don't wanna go back to the corner. I like it here, so $2.960, sorry. I squirrel, I'm a squirreler guys, that's what I do. The next, sale okay so it was the same buyer they all went together it was considered two transactions though these are i told you guys about this noritake before these are the teacups and saucers that match these are noritake Keltcraft teacups it was a set of two east fair ireland blue trim coffee cups so i had listed them in sets of two the cup and saucer so i had three sets of two i don't know why i have excess saucers because because the person sold, sent me an offer for $8 for the first set of two. And I'm like, yeah, sure. They've been listed a long time. I don't like teacups and saucers. $8 sounds great. Well, about an hour later, I get an offer that they want the other two sets for $8. And I'm like, cool beans. They're all going to be gone. Let's sell them. I accept the offer. Well, <laughs> there was lots of confusion between me and the buyer. She wanted, or they, I'm not sure either way, they wanted eight total cups and saucers. I said, I, I deeply apologize. I only have six sets of cups and saucers. I don't know why, but somehow I have three extra saucers. I don't get it. It's an item I didn't source. It's uh, grandma sourced it for me and I paid her for it. So they ended up only buying two sets of two. So I sold four saucers and four cups total to this buyer for eight dollars per set so it was sixteen dollars total for all four cups and saucers try wrapping your brain around that i tried explaining to my husband what was going on with it and i lost him after i said two and four like three times he just looked at me with this glazed expression and he goes just go do your thing honey <laughs> thanks babe so I was one, two, three, four dollars in, sold for 16. So it's still not a bad profit. I still have one complete two cup, two saucer set listed on eBay if you're interested. And I have three extra saucers that are not listed because I don't tend to just list these empty little saucers, but I'm gonna have to eventually. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And currently, as you all know, I have excess foam wrap and bubble wrap in my home and I had to empty out the bedroom this weekend because it couldn't stay there the bedroom needed used the boys had to sleep in it so we filled my room up so the struggle is real to get to two of my shelves 
I, I have to like suck it in and squeeze and cram. I have to take my slippers off or I lose them behind the bubble wrap. And life is not complete without me walking around in my slippers. So it's going to be a hot minute before I list those saucers. <laughs> Just saying. Next up, a vintage cassette tape holder, three drawer cabinet faux wood holds 48. I put it holds 48. So I picked this up at the Goodwill. I think I paid $2 for it. I'm not 100% sure, but it was super cool. And it it's a cassette drawer holder and it was vintage and I didn't even look it up. I just bought it because I tend to do that at the Goodwill. I act like a baller at the Goodwill. I buy whatever I want. Yeah, that's me. It sold for $16 though. So it's not a huge profit, but it's still a good profit. It hasn't been listed too long. It just sat on the shelf. It was out of the way. And what was even better was that I found a box at work that day that held it perfectly. There was only, there was less than a quarter, half inch gap on each side that I just cramped with styrofoam and foam and wrapped it. And it was great. It was the easiest ship of the night. So, Two more, two more sales from this week. We have a set of three Corel Classic Cafe dinner plates. They were 10 and a quarter inch dinner plates. They had a three black ring stripe. The set of three, I was $1.50 yen because I pay 50 cents a piece for plates. Um, sold for $14. I accepted the buyer's offer on these. It was a set of three. Who wants an odd number of plates? So. I was okay with that and it was my last set because I'd already sold the set of four. I had ended up with seven. It's all I could get and I don't leave a plate. I just, I don't do it guys. When I'm at the thrift and there's a stack of plates, if there's 11 plates, I'm taking home all 11 curl plates. I am not taking 10 or eight and leaving those other ones behind. No, I am taking them all. Oh, and public service announcement. I was at the Goodwill two weeks ago with my husband. There was a pecan pie pie plate. I buy the pie plates with the recipe in the bottom because I think they're cool. They don't sell for a lot, but I just like them. I think they're awesome. And I love pecan pie. I put it in my cart. I put it on the counter. I paid for it. I picked it up from the counter to put it back in my cart to take it to my car. I noticed that there's a chip on the pie plate. I don't want it anymore. So I, and I don't ask the gentleman behind the counter. It was his second day working there. I did not ask for my money back. I pick it up. I hand it to him. I say, will you throw this away for me? And he looks at me and I said, will you chunk this for me? And the girl's like, we, we don't have a manager present. We can't give you your money back. I said, I don't want my money back, but I'm going to take it home and I'm going to throw it away. So will you please do me a favor and will you throw this away? They said, yeah, sure. No problem. Thanks. Awesome guys. You guys, I went to the Goodwill today. Guess what's sitting on the shelf? One chipped pecan pie plate. Next time I'll take it home. Now some other person is going to get this chipped pie plate and they're not going to know until they get it home. I wish that I could walk through the Goodwill sometimes with a trash can and just throw away all the chipped stuff because it breaks my heart because somebody's gonna get stuck with that because they're not gonna notice. Someone is not gonna have a fun sponge there with them to chip check because it's not me. So my rant is over. You guys, the last item of the week was my giant foghorn leghorn. If you guys have seen my foghorn leghorn auction haul, I can link it up for you down below. I went to this awesome auction over the summer the last summer, 2022, the summer, it rained a little bit, but this lady collected chickens and foghorn leghorn. I am almost out of all my chicken stuff. Not quite. I have a little bit left, but I bought this huge, it was 34 inch plush foghorn leghorn. He's featured in a couple of my YouTube videos in the past, but he finally sold. You guys ready to hear how much he sold for? I was so excited, so excited. <sighs> okay, he sold for $75. You guys, I sold a stuffed animal. Granted, he was like a pellet foam plush. $75! Okay, I'll stop yelling. But do you wanna know how much I paid for him? 
two bucks. Auctions are great, you guys. If you don't if you don't go to in-person auctions, you are missing out on the most fun ever. I am telling you, I cannot wait for auction season to come on because I'm going to be there with my foam wrap and my totes and my boxes and I'm going to spend some money. Whew. I was so excited. The buyer paid, I think, $55 in shipping too, which was crazy. And with something that large, he's been listed for over six months. It was a slow sale, but I just set him on top of some stuff out of the way and I just let him set. I knew he would sell eventually. He, I've had interest in him. I've actually sent offers out on him, but I listed him at $75 because the, it, I thought he was going to be more of a challenge to ship, but he really wasn't. When I sell large items like that, I like to have a game plan of how I'm going to ship it as I'm listing it because you never know, it could sell tomorrow and you have to ship it. So I always have a game plan. My husband does not always agree with my game plans, but he just has to go along with them. He makes faces at times, but it, it just, it is what it is. You have to get it done. So my plan was to fit him in this. I have these larger boxes I bring home from work. And I just, we keep them on hand because you never know when you're going to need bigger boxes. And I had it. He didn't fit, guys. He didn't fit in the big box. I was very concerned for about, I want to say two minutes because I put him in the box and like his head and everything stuck out of the box. So I stood in my garage and I just pondered. And then I saw we order our dog food from Chewy. So we had these giant Chewy boxes in the garage. And I'm like, he would fit perfect in that Chewy box. And we had two of them in the garage. So I laid him in the one and then I just stacked the other one on top. And I just taped the whole thing around and around. Well, before I taped it, Foghorn was double garbage bagged, like one on each end. And then I taped them together. And then I like papered around him. And then I put him in the boxes and I taped around them. I, my, I don't know if my postal person doesn't like me very much. I'm thinking of a great Valentine's gift for them because they, they're they earning it, I'm telling you. So, but that is all I sold this week. Then we have the items that are going out tonight. This is my Friday, Saturday, and today's sales. We had tons of people here on Saturday. We had, well, actually, we've had house guests Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So, I did not get around to shipping Friday night. I had a house full. So everything is going out tomorrow morning. But before we talk about these items, we just talked about Foghorn. Let's talk about this Christmas for Kids fundraiser. For all of my new subscribers, I want to let you know that you have officially contributed to my 2000, it's 2023, but it's the tail end of 2022 Christmas for Kids fundraiser. There are five ways that you can donate from the 1st of December all the way until I forget, we're gonna end it somewhere in, uh, before Christmas because we have to have the money donated. For every new subscriber on YouTube and every video liked on YouTube, we are going to donate one penny for the new subscriber, one penny for the video liked, and then if you follow us on Whatnot, that's another penny. Every sale on Whatnot is another penny, and then every sale on eBay is another penny. So there are three ways that you can help without buying a single thing. But if you want to go buy something from eBay or whatnot, I fully support that also. We gained over 100 subscribers this week, guys. He told me, I want to say it was almost 200 likes on the videos. So that's just the YouTube side alone. So I know the whatnot is on me and how, I, how many auctions I host. But you guys... Over 100 subscribers in a week is crazy, crazy for me. So I'll give you the official numbers on the next video, but I just want to give you a little hint of what's going on with that. So let's talk about these items that sold this week. First up, we have, this is a Pyrex. This is a vintage Pyrex Blue Horizon oval lid. It is only the lid. As you can see, but it is beautiful. It is in excellent condition. I've had this, so it's not something I bought to sell. It's something I've had. I don't know why I bought just a lid, but I at one point collected Pyrex. I still cling on to a few pieces, but this sold for $16. 
So if you have just lonely lids laying around, you might want to look them up. Next we have a set of two Threshold Beaded Bunny Rabbit Pink 10 and a half inch dinner plates. So this is a set of two. They're really pretty. They're very faint. Like there's the bunny and the flowers and they're beaded. They're Target plates actually. I've had these for a long time. They've been listed for well over a year, <clears throat> but they've steadily sold. I had, I think, 20 of them at one time. They're list is it, listed at sets of two because of how heavy they are. I didn't want to dis discourage buyers, so I listed them as sets of two. That's something you can think about doing with stoneware plates. So I was a dollar in because it was two plates. They sold for $11.20. They started out higher, but as it's been over a year, so now I think they're included in the 20% uh, markdown, but still that's over $10 on these two plates. So keep that in mind. Some target stuff sells guys, I'm just throwing that out there. Then we have this little guy. He is a plush dragon hatch moles, purple with yellow wings and blue sparkly eyes. I don't even know why I bought him. I just thought he was cute and he was in really great condition. I thought maybe he'd be worth more. I always look over the stuffed animals at the Goodwill. I am down there and they're on the bottom shelf under the books. So I am down there and there's usually kids too. So it's kind of embarrassing, but you to do what you got to do. I paid a dollar for him. He sold for ten ninety. Not a bad profit, especially since he's a super easy ship and he took up no space at all in the tote. So, and I think he's only been on for about a month. Not a super slow sale. I've had worse. <laughs> then we have some free stuff that sold. So there was a girl on Facebook. She posted a whole mountain of toys that she was just putting out to the curb or donating. So <clears throat> me and my husband kind of jumped in on it and we asked her what, you know, she was going to do with it. And she said she just wanted them gone. Her grandson has too many toys. So I drove over there and I offered to buy them from her. She didn't want any money. So she knows what I do. She knows what I was going to do with them. And she didn't care because she was just going to give them to the Goodwill. So first was this one. It was, sorry for my bag, but it's a lot of 20 Ryan's Mystery Playdate 2-inch mini figures. So they're all just random I laid them out. They're just little Ryan's mystery play date minifigures. The lot of 20 sold for $12.95. I had them listed at $14.95. I have actually, if you're interested in Ryan's mystery play date minifigures, you guys, Ashley Swifty Shop on eBay, let me know that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and send me an offer. I will definitely work with you on it. They're all listed, I want to say at $14.95, but I have multiple listings. This is a lot of 20. And then I sold another lot to another buyer. Let me scroll up a little. <clears throat> this is a lot of 12. These are all combo pandas. So there are not all two inches. Some of them are a little bit bigger. There are duplicates, but they're all combo panda. So I think I have a Gus one and one of the little pink cat fox ones. I understand that I probably could have, I might have been able to pull in more money if I had Google image searched every single figure and I had listed them by their sets or, you know, not th like the complete set or by what, who they actually are. You guys, I did not have the patience for that and I did not have the time for that. So I lotted them up and everybody wins. I didn't pay anything for them, so I'm happy to see them go to a home. I'm hoping a kid is gonna love them or an adult, whoever gets them. Enjoy them because I, I don't want them. My son found them and he thought he needed all of them. There was like 200 figures, guys. No, no, we are now getting into the Pokemon phase. Pokemon is not cheap, guys. And he wants to keep these Ryan's Mystery Playdate figures. And I'm like, oh, but but no, honey. And so he did chores to earn them. So he would go do something random for me. And then 
thank goodness he took all the squishy ones first and then I made them just magically disappear. Good times. Next item we had, so, was a Hallmark Keepsake Ornament 2004. It's a moose. Sold for $6.95. Not a huge profit because I paid a dollar for it. But that's okay because I think I listed it very fairly similar to the other ones. And let me tell you, I thought super long and super hard about the year 2004. And if there was any reason why I should keep this. Because I love moose. But I couldn't. So I listed it. And I sold it. Then we had another free item. This is Smart Shield RTU Antimicrobial Surface Clean Protectant 22 ounce spray bottle new. You see it? There was in another town over there was their community wide garage sales. They weren't very great. But on Facebook, during the community-wide garage sale, somebody posted that they were putting all their leftovers back in the alley. It was free. Come get it before the garbage man did. So that's exactly what we did. And this was one of the items in it. And I listed on eBay and sold it for $9.60. It was not a fast sale by any means, but it was an almost $10 sale. Not bad for free, guys. Then we're on to the last two sales. Actually, I think they're from today. First is a set of four Churchill Blue Willow 10 and a quarter inch dinner plates made in England. I will show you. I have all four. And then I will just show you one. They are quite heavy, but I wanted to list them as a set of four because I felt like they belonged together. They are beautiful. Excellent condition. The back they don't see they're not like vintage by any means but they are marked so I knew what they were I found these somebody had set them down in the wrong place at the Goodwill I was two dollars in because plates are 50 cents a piece and they sold for $29.90 um they were in with the sporting goods stuff I don't have a very large Goodwill by any means but these were sitting with some golf clubs I was so happy I found them because I actually check the sports stuff every time I go to the Goodwill because I want to find Frisbees. My husband throws Frisbee and plays disc golf and all that. So I always check the Goodwill for Frisbees and discs. I've never found any, but someday I will. Someday. And then, last but not least, you guys, we have a vintage Yellow Peanuts M&M three ring binder this was a quick uh, I don't want to say a splurge because it wasn't a splurge it was only a dollar this was a it's right next to the checkout there's an aisle which is very poorly placed and they have stuff and I just grabbed it and threw it in the cart so when I got it home I cleaned it up <laughs> realized it didn't sell for very much I listed it at $9.95, and it sold for $9.95. It's not very heavy. It's going to be a super easy ship, but it's in excellent condition. I feel really weird showing this, but yeah, the zipper works, so you never know. Three ring binder sell. I have folders listed, though. I found powder puff. Powder puff girls. Folders. I have a couple of those listed on eBay. Not for a lot, but when you pay a quarter for them in a garage sale, you risk it for the biscuit. So that's all I've got going out tonight. Thank you again, everyone, for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you want to go find me on Whatnot, I'm also there, Reselling Farming Mom, and on Instagram, Reselling Farming Mom. And we actually have our next Whatnot auction already scheduled. It is going to be vintage 1950s ad and ads and ephemera so make sure you go check that out and until next time thank you thanks for watching make sure to like share and subscribe